Paragon, new hero, is it Revenant? What the hell is going on, mates? I've only been gone for two days. Oh my god. Welcome, mates. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord. But you can come in, Lordy, and tell me back on Paragon. Once again, we'll be talking about the new hero reveal that you're seeing right now on your screen. We're going to talk about and talk about what hero is coming up next. And maybe something that's pretty much like an April Fool's event or idea that happened with the hero release. So we're going to talk about that as well. And also, let's just do a quick rundown of all the new stuff that just came out. So, obviously, Serith and Yin became utter trash. No, they didn't. They just got balanced, aka nerfed, from what they were previously in version 38.5. That is the current update right now, which is live. And also, there were some new skins as well. Um, what was it? Was it the Zekin Huntress? Where is she? Zekin Huntress Sparrow got two variations on her skin, as you'll be able to see right now. This is the default variation if it does load. There you go, followed up by this other interesting variation right there, which you can find in loot crates, and also this variation right here, which you can both find in loot crates, which look pretty clean, nothing too crazy, I don't really care to be honest. Then we move on to the Narbash skin that everyone has been waiting for, and I think it's kind of devastating because we get this skin. Pretty much looking like this skin, in some type of way, with the actual like face paint type of thing. You got the exact same thing going on here, but it's more vibrant, and obviously you can get the other variations, I wish this looks decent, nothing too crazy, but this one, mates, oh my god. Black and gold Narbash. Insane. If you ever want to get that skin, best of luck with the loot crate system. Or, yeah, that loot crate system, if you can get this skin. I don't think you're going to have a good chance of getting it. But if you can, it's going to be well worth it. That is all that happened in version 38.5. But, mates, before we get into this video, when we talk about the new hero reveal and go through every bit of information that we know of at this current moment... Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news. As always, expected here first. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So with this new hero reveal that you're seeing right now, it comes in three days. Right now it should be the 29th of March or the 28th. And three days, it's getting really close to April 1st. So you can see the idea here. And obviously, this was a big surprise to a lot of people. That the hero that we see here isn't Revenant. What is going on? So the idea is that obviously they mentioned that the new range hero will be released in April. Understandable. But they didn't say they're going to release two heroes in April. So that's what's happening right here. Pretty much like the little April Fool's fight is they're releasing Morogesh first before releasing Revenant. Morogesh is the Mambo codename hero that we've been talking about in the past couple of videos. We've made like three videos talking about her, I'm guessing. Three, four. Which is really interesting if you haven't watched those. Check them on my channel. Be really easy to find. Also, there might be some links in the description to talk about those videos. And the idea of this character is very unique and essentially does connect to pretty much poison abilities, which is something that we've talked about maybe around close to a year ago or nine months ago. The idea of a poison hero coming to a paragon, which is pretty bloody amazing. And we know some of her abilities from the data mine information they've also talked about previously. And as we get closer and closer to the next three days, we'll gain more information about this character. But within this image, you do see these spikes or pins going through a voodoo doll, as you can see right there. I will obviously have another image on screen just to sh clarify that and obviously zoom in, in different sections. You can see the character of Voodoo Doll being stabbed three times in different, or four times actually. There's another stab on the left leg or the left, wait, the right leg or right arm. Yes, and then obviously you see the skull with the candle lit on top of it. It's lit, mates. And also, you can see her weapon on the side, the dagger that she does carry. It's on that table as well. Some water table with all these equipment that she does use in her kits. So I'm guessing that's going to play a massive visual uh, effect with her abilities. We know that she carries the Voodoo doll. We know she carries the dagger because we saw that within some other uh, footage in GDC. I think that's the event that happened recently. Epic Games was there and they showcased Mumbo, aka Mo Rogesh, the character, and we could see some of the things that she was holding. She was holding a Voodoo doll and a dagger. How the skull will play into this, I'm not exactly sure. But obviously, this character is possessed by spirits. Before, she was just a lady that was walking close by and then she got controlled. And then also, this character is trying to destroy the Fae so that she traveled to Agora, or aka the universe of Agora, Monolith, and is trying to destroy the Fae. So, that's going to be really interesting to see the lore start building up even more between the Fae and also this character. I'm pretty hyped about this character, but mates, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this video. What do you think about it? Are you interested about this new hero coming out to Paragon? Because I feel like it's going to lead to some very interesting team compositions using poison and abilities and having that poison mechanic to stop health regen on certain heroes like Rampage, some other heroes that utilize the health regen mechanic because... It's kind of broken, and we need something to counter that. Poison cards are like those go-to cards to use against health regen. 
but obviously not many people use those cards. So seeing a hero based on poison is going to be really great. That is my personal opinion on it. But tell me your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us by smash that blank like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. And if you makes want to see more power gaming content and more power gaming news, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to come and meet today. That is all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. We're back very soon. Hang out, boys, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Pity the soul that has to go against this hero, Morgesh. She's gonna get stabbed a hundred times with the Voodoo doll. Oh my god, insane. <laughs> Feels right.